Let's take a look at our lesson titled Three Numbers. It gives us the question, William gives five peanuts to Caleb, one peanut to Isabel, and two peanuts to Benjamin. How many peanuts did William give away? We can look at this problem and underline important information as we go. I see that William gives five peanuts to Caleb, one peanut to Isabel, and two peanuts to Benjamin. So they want to know how many William gave away in all. So I'm going to add these together. Five plus one plus two is equal to a number. So I see that I have three add-ins, these three numbers I'm adding together. So I can draw a picture for each. One, two, three, four, five, plus one, plus one, two. Now when I count all of these dots, then I will get my answer. Five plus one plus two, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my answer is eight peanuts. So I will type an eight down here. Next, we have the problem. If Benjamin bought two cats, five dogs, and three iguanas, how many pets did he buy? Let's see, let's underline that important information. If Benjamin bought two cats, five dogs, and three iguanas, how many pets did he buy? So let's add all three of our numbers together. Two plus five plus three is equal to a number. All right, so again, we can draw dots or lines. I'm going to do dots, two, plus five, one, two, three, four, five, plus three more, one, two, three. Notice how I leave a space between the numbers when I'm drawing the dots. I do that so I don't get confused and mix up the dots. So now I know I have two, plus five, plus three. So if I count all of these dots, I will get my answer. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So my answer is ten pets. Great, let's type that here. Let's read our next problem. Austin loves snow cones. He has three orange snow cones, five cherry snow cones, and two blue raspberry snow cones. How many snow cones does Austin have? So let's see how many snow cones Austin has. He has three orange snow cones plus five cherry snow cones plus two blue raspberry snow cones. Let's see how many that is altogether. Let's draw some more dots. One, two, three, plus one, two, three, four, five, plus two. All right, let's count them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's ten snow cones. All right, now this one says that Michaela has a rose garden. She has three pink roses, one red rose, and two white roses. How many roses does Michaela have in her garden? Well, I know she has three that are pink, and one that is red, and two that are white. All right, let's see. We could even hold up some fingers for this problem. We can hold up three fingers for this number. Then we can put up one more. And then we can put up two more. So go ahead and try that. I'll do it with you. Let's both hold up three fingers. Good. Now hold up another one. Good. And now two more. One, two. All right, how many do we have up? Let's count. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six fingers up. Wonderful, so my answer is six roses. All right, now it says that Kevin counts clouds in the sky. He counts four large clouds, five small clouds, and one tiny cloud. How many clouds does Kevin see in the sky? All right, I know he sees four large clouds, plus five small clouds, plus one tiny cloud. They want to know how many he sees all together. All right. Let's count. One, two, three, four, plus one, two, three, four, five, plus one. All right, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's ten clouds. Now it says Cameron has a rose garden. He has five pink roses, two red roses, and one white rose. How many roses does Cameron have in his garden? Let's write an equation. I see that again we have three add-ins, three numbers that we are adding together. Five plus two plus one is equal to a number. All right, now we can work on just counting on if we want. We know we have five there, two here and one. So we could say, okay, I know if I draw five dots here and count them all, I'm going to have five. So let's just start with five and count on. Five, six, seven, eight. The answer is eight. Our next problem says, Brayden counts clouds in the sky. He counts three large clouds, four small clouds, and one tiny cloud. How many clouds does Brayden see in the sky? Let's write our equation. Do you know what number we could write first? Yeah, the first one we saw, three. Three plus, what's the next number we saw? Yep, four, so three plus four, plus one. All right, so I'm going to draw three dots. I'm going to draw four. One, two, three, four, and then just one. Let's count them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight clouds. He saw eight clouds in the sky. All right. It says that Caleb has a rose garden. He has five pink roses, one red rose, and two white roses. How many roses does Caleb have in his garden? So we know we are going to be adding those three numbers together. Five plus one plus two is equal to a number. So we have our five, and we can draw five dots for that. One, two, three, four, five, and then one, and one, two. All right, let's count all of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So five plus one plus two is equal to eight. Do you see that option down below? Yeah, me too, it's right here. All right. The next one says that Isabel has a rose garden. She has three pink roses, four red roses, and one white rose. How many roses does Isabel have in her garden? Let's write the equation. Three plus four plus one. All right, three plus four plus one. One, two, three, plus one, two, three, four, plus one. Let's count them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The answer is eight, and I see it right here as well. All right, the next one says, Michael is a real estate agent. If Michael sold two blue houses, 
one red house and three white houses? How many houses does he sell? All right, we know that two are blue, one is red, and three are white. How many is that in all? Two plus one plus three is equal to a number. All right. Well, I know two plus one is going to be three because when you add one to any number, it's just the next number up. So two plus one is three. So this is like three plus three. And I know that doubles problem, three plus three is six. But let's draw the picture just to be sure. Two plus one plus three. One, let's count together. One, two, three. Great, so I was right, two plus one is three, and then we're adding three plus three, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Great job, here's our answer. Thank you for all your help today, my friends.